In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create individual planks of wood that appear to have different grains, although I shall only be using one image. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Before starting you'll need to download an image of some wood this is, um, you can either do this by typing the word wood veneer and searching Google images, or you could use this one. I got it off of Wikipedia. I have left a link in the description below um, to go directly to the image in Wikipedia. I'm not gonna do anything with this cube initially. So first thing I'm gonna do is just press tab and go into my edit mode. Then come up to UV and then select unwrap. Now if you come down to uh, material properties, next to base color, select the ye little yellow dot and then select image texture. Select open and go to where you saved your image. Select your image and then open image. Now, if you come up to materials view you'll find that you've got a cube of wood. Come up to UV editing and again I'll select preview and number seven on my keyboard to go into top orthographic view. You can roll your middle mouse here as well. So let's just select this move tab here. If I select A, I can move this to change the grain. But first of all I'm going to actually make a plank. So looking down from the top I'm going to just press S followed by Y and drag this out just to make a sort of decent looking plank. And then I'll press 3 on my numbers pad and then S Z and drag this down. So I've got a sort of wooden plank here. I'm going to go back into object mode and select the little wrench, modifiers properties or modifier properties, and then select add modifier and I'm going to put I'll just go for four planks and then apply and then I'll go back into add modifier and let's put a bevel to them and then again drop down and apply go back into top view I'm only going to do four planks this will be enough to show you what you can do so I've got individual planks here, but each one is exactly the same. This knot appears in exactly the same place. So with this selected, if you press tab on your keyboard and go into edit mode, then A to select everything, and then P, this will bring up the separate tab, and then select by loose parts. Go back into object mode, by pressing tab and then select your first plank and then tab to go back into object mode and then A to select everything. Now I can move this and change what the planks look like. So let's take this one over to here and that will do. You can rotate as well. So I think that looks quite good actually. So we'll go for a slightly so that's one plank. Tab again to go into object mode, select the next plank, tab, and let's drag in fact I've got to make sure you press A to select everything and we'll move this one up. 
it doesn't matter about the back too much then tab I'll do one more select the plank and tab again to go into edit mode A to select everything and I could press S X make it wider but I've got those two not showing so I'll make it a little bit wider and then I'll get rid of that knot there maybe drag it down a bit and then if you go back up to layout hopefully you'll have something that looks at least like it's made of individual planks okay this one's got the identical knot but you get the gist of it you can play around with these until it looks like it's not made all from one piece of wood and that's basically it really hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers